so when we are going to do the probate analysis on a mini tab we have to uh, get the prerequisites files here there are uh, minimum three columns required first column declares the drug that we're going to apply its concentration so we have made the different doses like here it's 40 48 and uh, we have done all these in triplicates and uh, you have to remember that we have also applied the last dose of control also there is also control so you can see the control is shown by zero there is no dose applied the second column which is of response uh, after you apply the drug the living system is either going to live or die so its frequency you can get in the third column which is labeled by mortality you can also click here and change the labels for your desire here you can say that on the 40 microliter per air dose of fumigation 14 insects lived and 6 insects died you can modify the experiments according to your needs but let's suppose and we move to our last dose and we can see that uh, as the dose increases the death in the insects also increases and no insect died in the control so that's how a scientific experiment must work and uh, it is the minimum prerequisite of applying the probate analysis on a experiment then you go to the strat then you go to the reliability and survival tab you go to probate analysis you click on it here, select you according to the requirement of your experiments like here stress what is stress you select, select the stress like for example here we have stress uh, uh, or the in the form of application of drug so it's c1 i selected it here in the stress uh, mortality is uh, you know the frequency how many insects died and how many of your living system survived showed by zero and one you select it here then response is that uh, you know uh, zero declares living and one declares dead number of uh, individuals or systems you select it here after you complete this you select ok of course you can change the assumed distribution and everything whatever you require either you want to apply the logistics or log or whatever you want to do or you can do it in the excel but here it is very simple so you select the normal and you click ok in an instance the results are shown so you get all the results that you need according to the paper that you're following that you need so let's see here I need LC 50 I don't need LC 100 or 99 or 70 or 30 but let's suppose if you need those uh, then you can write it here so here there is a graph and uh, you can see that the distribution is within requirement so the data shows that uh, it was done right the concentration shows it was done right as we increase the concentration the living system died so according to the paper or the type of system the journal I'm following I need LC50 so I take the LC50 this is the uh, you know exact LC50 its fusidial limits and its uh, you know minimum and higher I note down them then I will go up to the uh, you know if you require the standard error you can take it here from here but I don't need those standard errors I just need the goodness of fit model the chi-square model so I get the Pearson's value and add it into my table here you can see that uh, I have uh, you know there is an important you know understanding of this regression table the 0 0.09 which is the coefficient it shows that uh, it shows that the slope value slope value is here sometimes it's difficult to locate the slope value on the mini tab of any experimental system of probate analysis so this is the slope value which is 0 0.09 and uh, this is the p value of that slope value so you take that sl that slope value and you mention its p value some uh, you know researchers take the chi square value of pearson's chi square value and note down the p value here you can go to the uh, you know online mini tab manual and you understand how these uh, values describe that uh, either your uh, readings fit the experiment or not you can read about that uh, separately to understand it better but uh, the table that I'm making and I'm following these this is its uh, you know a layout so I take the required amount which is here I get the uh, you know the lower and upper limit then I take the slope value then I take the chi-square value p-value and uh, after that I'll calculate the relative efficiency uh, but you can you know get the desired readings according to your experiment or the general you're following it will be easy for you in an instance you can get all the probate analysis values 